Good morning, dear friends, and welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. Today's liturgy reminds us that discipleship of the Lord Jesus implies courageously speaking the truth in love, leading a holy life of body and mind, and being willing to bear a cross for it. Jesus offers us the grace to do what he asks of us in this Eucharist so that we may worthily receive these graces. Let us humbly ask God's forgiveness and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people what a sight just to see all the happy faces praising God in heavenly places thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people what joy His love affords When we meet in one accord And we lift our hearts in praise unto the Lord There's no place I'd rather be Than with the ones who've been set free I'm so glad I'm in God's great big family I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people Love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people What a sight just to see all the happy faces Praising God in heavenly places There's a thrill that I feel when I get together with God, 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 wonderful people. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear youngsters, and my dear children. This morning, we are very happy to have Reverend Father Savio Silvera. Provincial of Mumbai province among us. He is on his official provincial visit to us. On this first day of Nimina, we welcome him to celebrate this Eucharist for us. Let us accompany him with our prayers as he celebrates, to invite him to celebrate this Eucharist. We like to welcome with a small plant. This morning, Eucharist is offered for the soul of Jocelyn Vegas' death anniversary. For Gratian Furtado, it's a 20th anniversary. So, soul of Maria Estrelina Fonseca, 34th death anniversary. For soul of Salvador and Angelina Fernandez. For the soul of Rita Joanna Fernandez. For the soul of Edward and Manuel Fernandez, for the soul of Rachel D'Souza, for the soul of Magdalene John Fernandez, for the soul of John Victor Fernandez, for the soul of Philip John Fernandez, for the soul of Gaurang Dodenur, for the soul of Vincent John Fernandez, for the soul of Rita and Lawrence Fernandez, for the soul of Rita and Lais <coughs> Pereira. For the soul of Mary and Winston Dominic Kinney. For the soul of Philomena Joseph D'Souza. Thanksgiving in honor of Jesus and Mother Mary for peace and happiness in our family. 
offered by Lenit. Thanksgiving Mass in honor of Velankini. Thanksgiving Mass in honor of Lady of Velankini offered by I.V. D'Souza. Thanksgiving Mass in honor of Our Lady of Velankini for good health of family members offered by Donald D'Souza. Thanksgiving Mass to Sacred Heart and Our Lady of Velankini for these intentions and our personal <coughs> intentions. Let us pray in this Eucharist. Now I invite Father to begin the Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear parishioners, my dear friends, I'm very happy to be with you to celebrate together this Sunday Eucharist. I pray in a very special way for each one of you, for each of your families. These are very unique times. These are very challenging times that we are living through. And very definitely, these are times when we feel the need of God in our life. Because without God's protective presence, without God's caring presence, without God's accompaniment, we feel lost, we feel insecure, we feel anxious as we face the challenges of the moment. And I'm sure during these months, God has been good to us in so many ways. He has kept us under his protective, caring, loving mantle. And so as we celebrate the Eucharist this morning, in the first place, we thank God for this care that we have experienced. And we pray that he may keep us safe, keep us out of harm's way in the weeks, in the days ahead. In a very special way, in the Eucharist this morning, I would like to remember all those parishioners who may be struggling in some way or the other because of the pandemic, caught up with some ailment, because of other difficulties that the lockdown has brought. I pray for you very, very specially that you may feel God's grace, God's strength in your life. And through God's accompaniment, you may be able to walk serenely through these moments. As we gather together to celebrate this Eucharist, as we thank God for His presence in our life, we also have to acknowledge that we have not always been as loving, as caring, as understanding as God has been. For our own weaknesses, for our own failures and faults, we pause for a moment now, humbly asking God for His pardon. mercy on your people gathered here Christ have mercy on your people gathered here we confess we have sinned in thought and word and deed Lord have mercy on your people gathered here May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest peace to all the people He loves. Glory be to Him, peace to His friends. Heavenly King, Mighty Lord, we worship you, we give you thanks, praise to you for your great saving love. Jesus, the Son of the Father, Lamb of God, you take away all our sins and have mercy on us. You who sit at the right hand of the 
Father, hear our prayer. Look on us, heed our cry, Lamb of God. For you alone are the Holy One, and you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Son, Jesus Christ. To the Spirit we sing unending glory evermore. Let the whole universe sing Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, Keep safe what you have nurtured. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Jeremiah, in which Prophet Jeremiah complains to God that if he continues to proclaim the word of God, he will have to face rejection and insults from the people. Nevertheless, he experiences God's word as a fire that urges him to speak the truth irrespective of the consequences. In the second reading, St. Paul appeals to those who have come to believe in Christ to leave behind their former sinful ways of living and offer their minds and bodies as a living sacrifice. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. You have seduced me, Lord, and I have let myself be seduced. You have overpowered me. You were the stronger. I am a daily laughing stock, everybody's butt. Each time I speak the word, I have to howl and proclaim violence and ruin. The word of the Lord has meant for me insult, derision all day long. I used to say, I will not think about him. I will not speak in his name anymore. Then there seemed to be a fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. The effort to restrain it wearied me. I could not bear it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Silver only 
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Think of God's mercy, my brothers, and worship Him. I beg you in a way that is worthy of thinking beings. My offering your body, living bodies as a holy sacrifice, truly pleasing to God. Do not model yourselves on the behavior of the world around you, but let your behavior change, model by a new mind. This is the only way to discover the will of God and know what is good, what it is that God wants, what it is the perfect thing to do. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Gospel Acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, give praise to His name. Jesus, the Lord of all the earth, He is the King of creation. Hallelujah, give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, give praise to His name. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus began to make it clear to His disciples that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes, to be put to death and to be raised up on the third day. Then taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate him. Heaven preserve you, Lord, he said. This must not happen to you. But he turned to Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are an obstacle on my path, because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. But anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. What then will a man gain if he wins the whole world but ruins his life? So what has a man to offer in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man is going to come in the glory of his Father with his angels. And when he does, he will reward each one according to his behavior. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, a statement that we often use is that there is no Easter Sunday without Good Friday. Or to rephrase that in other words, there is no resurrection without the cross. And I think the present times that we are going through, in a special way, draw our attention to this fact. Today, we are really facing a huge cross in our lives. As we say so often, these are difficult times, these are challenging times, these are anxious and stressful times. This is the cross that not you and I, not only this parish, but the entire world is carrying at this time. Of course, faced with any cross, faced with any difficulty, our first reaction is, when will I get through this? How long do I have to carry this cross? This may be a human reaction. This is a natural reaction. But like I said, resurrection, Easter Sunday, comes 
only if we carry the cross. That is what Christ is talking about in the gospel today. Take up your cross and follow me. Carry your cross. Again, we may ask, so what is the value of carrying this cross? Why should I carry this cross? Coming back to, as I was saying, the present times that we are living in, I think the cross, the cross that we are carrying today, the cross of the pandemic, the cross of the lockdown, has so much to teach us. And it can also so very aptly lead us to the resurrection, to a change, to a conversion in our own lives. I think in the first place, what the present times are teaching us, which are pointing out to us so strongly, is the need of God in our lives. We realize our weakness, we realize our vulnerability, we recognize our fragility. All this has become so evident to us during these times. And in the face of this fragility, in the face of this vulnerability, in the face of the helplessness that we might be going through, we realize that ultimately, if God is there, I can pass through serenely. I can face this cross serenely. If not, everything seems to be shattered. And that is what exactly Christ said. Even if you have everything else, but God is missing, what is the use? I think in the first place, we are really being called to rediscover God's presence in our life. To place God once again at the center of our lives. To once again have what we should call a passion for God in our lives. That is what this cross today is teaching us. And that is precisely the resurrection that it will lead us to. If we carry this cross of these times, if we are willing to recognize the need of God, that is the resurrection that it is bringing us to. A renewed faith, a strengthened faith, the comfort of God with me. And of course, a second lesson that the present cross, the present times is teaching us is that it does not matter what we have in our lives. What really matters is who is there in my life. Whom do I have in my life at this moment in time? It is people, it is persons, it is family, it is friends that today become so important. As Christ so aptly again says, what does it profit you if you gain everything? But in moments like this, if there is no one whom you can turn to, but if we have family, if we have friends, if we have persons who stand by us, there is a great comfort in our lives. There is again a sense of courage, a sense of confidence that no matter what is happening around me, I have people who will stand by me, who will assist me, even maybe if I fall prey to the virus, even if I fall sick, even if I lose my job, even if I have to face so many other difficulties, there are people who are there for me. I think that is another beautiful lesson that the present times is teaching us. The importance of people in our life. The importance of being there for one another. The importance of concern for each other. The importance of being compassionate towards one another. That is another discovery that we need to make. Passion for God, compassion for one another. That is what we are being called to. And it is precisely this discovery that, like I said, is going to be our resurrection, is going to be our new life. Today, as the Lord calls on us to recognize our crosses, to accept our crosses, to carry our crosses, He does not just call it with a sense of, I don't know, placing a burden on us. But He says, if you are willing to carry your cross as a disciple, it is that cross that will lead you to Me. And I think the present cross, 
of these difficult times really can lead us back to God, can lead us back to being persons for one another. As we thank God for the cross that we are going through, it may sound strange to say that, but yes, I think we need to thank God for every cross, including the cross that we are presently facing. We thank God for the cross and we ask that it may truly lead us to new life. We now profess our faith in God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Prayer of the Faithful Dear brothers and sisters, let us offer our prayers to the Heavenly Father, trusting that he who did not hesitate to offer up his only son as a saving sacrifice will freely give to us all that we ask in his name. Our response to the prayers will be, Lord, help us to carry our crosses. Please repeat. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to, to carry, carry our, our crosses. crosses. We pray for the Pope, the bishops, the priest, the religious and the laity, May they always find joy in their daily sacrifices for the sake of the church. For this we pray, Lord, Lord help, help us, us to carry, carry our, our crosses. crosses. We pray for those engaged in spreading the gospel, that they may find the courage and wisdom to proclaim the truth in love at all times. For this we pray, Lord, help, help us, us to, to carry, carry our, our crosses. crosses. We pray for families that experience conflict and distress, that they may find the help they need to experience peace, joy, and love in unity. For this we pray, Lord, Lord help, help us, us to, to carry, carry our, our crosses. crosses. We pray for young people who are discerning a vocation or a career, that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit to do what God wills of their life and fill it with great meaning and purpose. For this we pray, Lord, Lord help, help us, us to, to carry, carry our, our crosses. crosses. We pray for the victims of coronavirus and their families, that the good Lord may give them his healing touch. For this we pray, Lord, Lord help, help us, us to carry, carry our, our crosses. crosses. My dear friends, as I celebrate this Eucharist with you this morning in the parish, I pray for our parish priests, Father James. I pray for all the fathers here in the parish. I pray for all the other leaders, the volunteers, those who help out in so many different ways in the parish that God may truly bless them for their generosity. I pray for each one of you, for every family in this parish, that during these difficult times, the good Lord may be by your side, helping you to face serenely these challenging times. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. May this prayer which earth has given and human hands have made become for us the bread of heaven. O oh Lord, we pray, we bless it and we lift it up with human hands we raise. Please accept our sacrifice of praise. May this cup of 
sacred wine, fruit of the vine, become for us your precious blood, shed for all mankind. We lift it up, this saving cup, with holy hands we raise. Please accept our sacrifice of praise. May it be acceptable, may it be acceptable, may it be acceptable, may it be acceptable for our good and the good of all His church. For our good and the good of all His church. Let us pray that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise, praise and glory of His name. For our, for our good and the good of all His church. church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of power and might, earth and heaven sing Hosanna in your praise. He is blessed who comes in the name of the Lord. Sing Hosanna in the highest. Praise the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Oswald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words that Jesus has taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God you, you take, take away the sin of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus Christ. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world and gives us peace. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, Lord, I'm not, I'm not worthy, worthy that, you that he should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but only say, say the word, Lord, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. your cross and follow me if you wish to be my disciple take up your cross and follow me 
The foxes have their holes, the birds their nest, but I have not a place to take my rest. If you wish to be my disciple, take up your cross and follow me. Whoever loves his life will only lose it. It's only sacrifice that brings one gain. If you wish to be my disciple, take up your cross and follow me. If you wish to be my disciple, take up your cross and follow me. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Irish notices 30th August 2020 22nd Sunday of the year Saturday 29th and Sunday 30th August the provincial of Mumbai province Reverend Father Savio Silvera will be visiting our parish we request your prayers as he visits and meets the parish team. Sunday, 30th August, begin the novena in preparation for the feast of the Nativity of Our Lady. The daily masses will be uploaded on the YouTube along with the novena prayer. Friday, 4th September is the first Friday of the month. Saturday, September 5th is celebrated as Teacher's Day. We wish all the teachers, both present and retired, as well as our Sunday school teachers, happy Teacher's Day. Parish Council members and SSC coordinators are encouraged to wish the teachers in their communities. Our parish has started Sunday school online classes on Zoom app for standard first to confirmation students. We request the parents of the children to coordinate and support the catechists in this venture and ensure that the children will attend the same regularly. Let us spend this time in prayer and building up the faith of our children as we spend quality time at home. May the Holy Spirit continue to guide all our efforts. During this lockdown, we continue with our Bible classes. Bible sessions will be held at 7 p.m. every Wednesday. We live stream the Bible classes on YouTube. Kindly contact Mr. Samson Francis to receive the link to the same. We will continue to pray for the victims of the coronavirus, our health care workers and volunteers who risk their lives to attend those affected by the virus. The government, both at the national and state level, municipality and police, for their efforts. May the Lord continue to inspire them in this difficult task. 
we will continue to play our parts by staying at home and being safe and healthy. Let us take great care of the health of our seniors and children. If you need any assistance from the church, please contact the parish team. Let us continue to stay at home and be safe in this difficult period. My dear parishioners, from the time the lockdown has begun, we have been assisted by our parishioners for the live streaming. And the daily masses are uploaded on YouTube and also the masses for the Saturday and Sunday. A special thanks to the team, Macklin Lacerda, Samir Vegas, Ria Sera for the Saturday and Sunday evening masses and also for the daily masses which were streamed by Lloyd Nunes. Now we request our for the provincial for the Savio Silvera to offer them a small token of our gratitude by giving them a small gift for the Savio. Pray for protection. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. Make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we now to the Nativity of Our Lady. O Most Holy Virgin, you are chosen by the most adorable trinity from all eternity to be the most pure mother of Jesus. O tender mother of the afflicted, grant me under my present necessities a special protection relying on the infinite mercies of your divine Son and penetrated with confidence in your powerful intercession. I most humbly entreat you to intercede for me. I beg you to obtain for me the favors which I petition for in this novena. If it be the holy will of God to grant them, and if not to ask for me whatever graces I most stand in need of. Let's make our request to intercession of our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, us now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, us sinners now, now and at the hour, hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As was, it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This celebration is over. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Chemae Pau Tu Amala Deva Chemae Samba Tu Amala Deva Chemae Bagi Mi Amala Vache mai madate amala Vache mai asrate amala Vache mai Oh